Excuse me, um, it's all about brum, 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 isn't going to be a reaction. It's going to be a public apology to my ex-partner. So if that's not something that you want to watch, by all means, click off. But if you want to get to know a little bit more about me and the situation going on, by all means, watch it. But in essence, there is really only one person that I want to watch this. <clears throat> so, where do I start? <sighs> Let's start when, I don't know, I was about 13. I played football with a man whose name you will know to the person I'm talking to. Uh, I played football with a guy called Alan. He was a goalkeeper. He was one of the first boyfriends you ever had. You then later moved to a place near here called Trench. Played on a park. Lived just round the corner from my best mate. Who I visited all the time. Then, a few years later, I moved to Donington, and lo and behold, I'm having a cigarette outside the front of this house right here, and I saw a gorgeous woman walk past. I give her the wolf whistle, because I was a young cocky little fucker, and she stuck her fucking finger up at me, and from that minute then, I knew that I wanted you. I'm a sucker for bitches. <laughs> I don't know why. But I knew instantly then I had to have you. Let's jump forward now. Ten years from that. To the age of about 26. I saw you on Facebook, we started speaking, and I come and met you. And then from that minute then, I never let you out of my sight. Life has tried getting me with you so many times, I believe, by the near chance encounters and places where we've been, we could have so easily met a lot earlier in life. But as fate has it, I met you when I was 26. You got pregnant really quick and we had our gorgeous little daughter, Ellie. For the next nine and a half years, Lived a very, very happy life. We had our ups and downs. But it was nothing we couldn't get past. I never once looked at another woman throughout our entire relationship. I never once wanted another woman throughout our entire relationship. Every time I look at you, and still now when I look at you, you are the woman that I want to be with for the rest of my life. There's nothing about you I'd change. You're absolutely gorgeous. You're the mother of my daughter. Your personality is brilliant. Your little quirks. 
they make me smile you make me smile when I'm around you I feel at ease I feel comfortable and throughout the many many mistakes that I've done in life you was something I could be proud of I was finally that guy that had a family had a beautiful girlfriend and I was proud towards the end of the relationship I got complacent I got comfortable and I did neglect you You were a queen. And I should have treated you every day. Like you were a queen. And never let you slip away from me. I made a lot of mistakes towards the end of the relationship. Which I apologise for. To the point where we did split. And I don't blame you for it. I don't. Since the split, I've done a lot of stupid, stupid, unspeakable things that I can't take back, that I wish I could. And for every action that I've done, I apologize. Everyone was done out of love, not hate. It might seem that way at the time, but it was never done out of hate. It was always done out of love. To me, like I say, you are the woman that I want to be with for the rest of my life. I don't know why I'm doing this apology. I just feel... As if it's publicly done, you will know without a shadow of a doubt that my apology is genuine. My actions, as so many men do when a relationship splits, has pushed you away slightly. Well, quite a lot. To the point where you have spoke to other men. You're doing nothing wrong. You were single at the end of the day. I cannot hold a grudge for you talking to other men. I understand why you're doing it. And I understand every action that you're doing at the moment. Us being apart has made me realise that we've both got faults that we need to work on. And this time apart is a brilliant time to fix them and become better people. I, without a shadow of a doubt, know that we will be together again. Life has tried getting me with you so many times from the age of 13 up until the age of 26 that I doubt it's going to stop now. You're my girl. Man, I love you to pieces. Anyway, I'm sorry for every action I've done, I really am. I want you back. And I think I've said to you, at the moment, I'm like a jigsaw that someone's put together 
and they've got right to the end and realise they're missing one bit. I'm not complete without you. I simply ain't complete without you. I need to give you space that I'm going to give you hand on my heart publicly. I'm going to give you space from now on. Quite frankly, knowing that you are talking to other men and that and me being so close hurts. And I don't want to be in a situation to put myself in that much hurt. All I ask is if you are genuine and want to move on, please do it slowly. Because I want you to find a decent man. If I have to lose you, I at least want to lose you to someone that's going to look after you and make you happy. If at all... There is still a little tiny chance that you still love me and still have feelings for me. I ask that you just give me one more chance. That's it. I know I've made mistakes. I've seen my mistakes. And being away from you has made me realise how much I want to be with you. And how much I don't want to let you slip out of my fingers again. So please, if there is a chance, I'm not asking for a lot, I'm just asking for a chance. Can we dash all these other things away and be together again? I'm not asking to come and live with you again because I know you like your independence. But make me complete. You're a beautiful, strong woman. And you're the mother of my child. I will forever love you. I'm sorry for everything that I've done up until this point. Anyway. I doubt I can say any more. For all of you that have watched it, thank you. Like, share, subscribe, make it go viral. So as many people can see how much I love this woman and how much I want her back. From So You Got Bars, peace out. See you in the next one. Excuse me, um, it's all about brum, 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 rub every vibes and cum. It's how to do the job and how it gets done. Brum, 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 brum.